What's up, and I'm Squat. It's your boy Sad Tag. When I see the title, man, by chance, the Sunny B2 video rappers who went broke in the stupidest way. But if you enjoyed that, subscribe and like, roll to help out going to dummy. But I've been trying to record as many videos as I can because there's a storm coming in California, man. So I don't know how much like power we're gonna have. So I'm trying to get a video uploaded, not published yet. It's gonna be on my private, but I'm trying to upload it. So if the power goes out, I'm gonna at least be able to. Edit the title, the thumbnail, and just upload it from my phone. But let's get into it, man. They got 50 cent on the thumbnail. We're gonna see the dumbest ways these rappers went broke, man. Cropsy, 50 cent was spending a hundred and eight thousand dollars per month. To Damn, I'd be happy if I made that in a year. To an 18 bedroom mega mansion. While T Pain's bankruptcy was so brutal that by the end of it, he had to borrow money just to buy Damn. Burger King. Nice. However, let's begin by talking about DMX, who had to file for bankruptcy on three separate occasions as Damn. he couldn't afford child support. Damn. You see, DMX had 17 children with 11 different women. See, I'm a loop, bro. 17 kids is wild, bro. 17 kids is wild. Bro. Almost every child resulted in some kind of lawsuit or child support requirement. For example, DMX was sued for 1.5 million worth of child support in 2008 after a genetic test confirmed that he was the father of a previously unclaimed baby, which when combined with his declining music career resulted in his first bankruptcy filing. Four years later in 2012, DMX was sued by a different ex-partner for a further $1 million worth of child support and a year after this lawsuit, he'd file for bankruptcy a second time. Damn. His third bankruptcy would occur in 2016, during which it would be discovered that DMX had racked up a further 1.7 million worth of unpaid child and family support, which accompanied $950,000 in bank debt and 1.7 million worth of tax debt. Since he had zero dollars in his bank account, DMX was sentenced to six months in prison for the child support, a further year in prison for the unpaid Damn. taxes, and was also ordered to pay the government 2.29 million Shit. in restitution oh, after he was released from his time behind bars. Bars. However, Smash DMX never money. had the chance to pay the amount back in full yeah. as he'd die in April 2021. And despite his extensive family tree, DMX never wrote a will, meaning that his family was still involved in money related legal battles even after he was dead and buried. Tiger yeah. was certainly better at managing his child support payments, although he definitely had a weakness when it came to luxury spending. After cultivating his career as a successful rapper, Tiger's name entered news headlines after he'd purchased a $200 $100,000 Mercedes Maybach for his girlfriend while being $480,000 behind in rental payments Bruh. on a luxury Malibu. Bruh. As a result, Tiger was sued by his landlord, although he'd failed to show up to court as he was on holiday in Turks and Caicos, yet this situation yeah. wasn't the only example of Tiger spending big in one area while being financially behind in another. For example, in 2016, while shopping for a new Bentley, Tiger's Ferrari 458 was repossessed in the parking lot as Tiger hadn't been paying for the loan. Bro, Despite this, Tiger would go to purchase oh another oh Mercedes bro. Maybach, as well as a Land Rover, a Rolls Royce Ghost, and a Rolls Royce. Oh Cullinan, all of which Oh my god, that one is sexy. They are sexy, but this one, ooh. Repossessed for non-payment while he was seen looking at a brand new Lamborghini. Bruh, in bruh, addition to this, Tiger was sued by a second landlord for 181000 after once again missing rental payments in 2016, which was followed by a third property-related lawsuit in 2020, where Tiger had racked up over $200,000 in damages and unpaid rent on yet another rental property. It was then revealed that Tiger was being court-ordered to pay for $200,000 Worth of unpaid jewelry, the, which accompanied the accusation by his ex-girlfriend Black China that he'd been missing child support payments, and just to add a cherry on top of the cake, the while all of this was going down, Tiger was in $890,000 worth of tax debt to the government. Despite all of this, Tiger is still seen flexing a lavish life on social media, which is a luxury unavailable to rap producer That's Scott crazy. Storch, who blew through $70 million in less than three years. Yo, how the f do you blow 70 million three years? You didn't even enjoy that for 10, 12. Like you blew that shit in three, my boy. Scott had earned this money by producing for some of the biggest names oh in music, including God. Kanye West, Dr. Dre, and Jay-Z. Yet Scott Storch's insane net worth began to diminish after he purchased an insane supercar collection. 30 cars, including Bugattis and Ferraris and all that kind shit, of stuff. But you're not well driving all 30 of those damn cars, bro. It's not worth, like... Y'all be spending on dummy. I know you got a lot of money. You don't think that shit gonna disappear, but bro, you spending on some crazy like one or two cars, three cars, even like like bro. T 
$10.5 million. Damn, man. that shit is sexy though. That $10.5, oh my god, you just see on the roof. Oh, where no. he housed more than 20 staff, including a boat captain, just in case he wanted to go out on just his yacht. The captain was on full time staff? Yeah. Just in case in he wanted case. to take the boat out. Yeah. And the boat was how many bedrooms? Seven. Seven bedroom boat, worth about how much? 20 million. 20 million. Scott went on to explain just how much this lifestyle was costing him. My monthly overhead for my household employees was somewhere in the neighborhood of a million dollars a month I was spending. And that if he continued to work, there wouldn't have been any problems, although this isn't what he would do. It went from me working and delivering to, to doing drugs and not going to the studio. I just stopped working and then I got depressed and jaded. As mentioned, Scott stopped making music and instead began yeah. to get addicted to the nightlife in Miami. And with no money coming in, plus a million a month month going out, it was only going to be so long before Scott hit zero. By 2009, yeah. just three years after having a net worth of 70 million, yeah. Scott had filed for bankruptcy. Bro, Six years later, crazy. Scott would file for bankruptcy a second time, claiming to have a grand total of $3,600 of assets to his name, $100 in cash, $500 in clothing, and a $3,000 watch. Most shocking, his music companies are valued at zero dollars, and in 2014, he made a grand total of only 10000 Throughout this hardship, Fat Joe was one of the only rappers to keep their friendship with Scott, possibly because Fat Joe went through a similar situation himself. Fat Joe had earned $1.18 million in 2007, $1.28 million in 2008, $265,000 in 2009, and $630,000 in 2010. However, despite having made this $3.3 million in only four years, Fat Joe failed to pay taxes on it. He was able to come up with $718,000 and had also done extensive charity work. However, this wasn't enough to satisfy the judge who sentenced Fat Joe to four months in prison. Shit. Despite taking personal responsibility for his actions by stating, there was a lot going on in the years that I didn't file my taxes, but it was my responsibility. Less than four years later, Fat Joe entered news headlines again after the IRS revealed that he still owed them 1.1 million in taxes. However, this number was absolutely nothing in comparison to Fat Joe's friend Lil Kim, who owed almost four. Yeah, y'all yeah, just friends with everybody that I'm like, what? more and became quote yeah, too poor to file for bankruptcy. Lil Kim wasn't nearly as successful as some of the other rappers featured on this list. However, this didn't stop her from purchasing a $2.3 million mansion back in 2002, That's notably sick. with the help of a mortgage. Throughout the 2000s, Kim's music career slowed dramatically and by 2018, Kim was filing for bankruptcy as she still owed the full $2 million on her property Damn. despite the 16 years that had passed. In addition to this, Kim now owed $1.85 million to the government for 13 years worth of unpaid taxes, which accompanied a further 185,000 in unpaid legal fees. The bankruptcy became even worse after discovering that by 2018, Kim was earning a comparatively small $18,000 per month, of which $2,000 went to staff, another $2,000 went to clothing, and $10,000 went to travel fees, meaning she had less than $4,000 per month to dig herself out of $4 million worth of debt. Yeah, that's $18,000, not bad, but would you put all this shit in it? Oh my God. Somehow Lil' Kim managed to quote, get her finances into good shape and her bankruptcy filing was dismissed. However, MC Hammer wasn't quite so lucky. Despite having the fifth best selling hip hop album of all time, which sold 17 million copies and featured songs such as You Can't Touch This, MC Hammer wasn't able to stay out of financial trouble. He bought more than 17 luxury cars, a private jet, two helicopters and 21 racehorses. 21 racehorses. Some of the horses were valued at around 1 million. Most of his expenses, mil, however, 21 mil on a horse bro. on his home. He bought a property in Fremont, California for 12 million and spent another 30 million on renovations to turn it into his dream home. He added a bowling alley, basketball court, baseball field, recording studio, like movie that field. house is that house. He spent another 30 mil. Damn, 30 mil on a dream house. I understand getting a dream house with a bachelor court. I don't know about bullying and that doing too much based off your hell on our recording student movie theater seventy car like if I if I was gonna do I was gonna do a, I would do a basketball court. I don't rap, I don't play baseball. Movie theater sounds cool. Seventy car garage, I'll take like a five car garage. Tennis court, yeah, I'll take one. One tennis swimming pool. 
And that's about the it. A 17 car right? garage, tennis courts, and two swimming pools to the 40,000 square foot mansion. One of the pools was shaped like his signature baggy pants that came to be known as hammer pants. Yeah. He added several marble statues of himself throughout the property and but, installed a gold hot tub in his bedroom. But that is not needed, bro. Gold hot tub, a uh, fucking statue of yourself. At, bro, he that employed is a staff of nearly needed, 200 bro. people on the property, which cost him an estimated $500,000 a month. Oh, oh yeah, you deserve it. Not 500k a month. 500k is people a on the property, which cost that him dude an was estimate doing a million, huh? That other dude was doing a million a year. 500k is hundred thousand dollars a month. Unsurprisingly, less than five years later, MC Hammer had filed for bankruptcy, at which point it to be revealed that he hadn't only spent his entire seventy million dollar fortune, but had also taken on a further thirteen million in loans, which had been borrowed from over two hundred different lending institutions. Despite having spent a total of forty two million on his California dream home, the property resold for only 6.5 million. What? However, if we're on the topic of expensive homes being repossessed by the bank, we need to talk about Birdman, who's ranked as the 15th richest rapper in the world with a net worth of $110 million. But this is what makes Birdman's story unique. If he was worth over $100 million, why was his Miami mansion being repossessed by the bank for non-payment? Birdman had purchased the home back in 2012 for 14.5 million, yet by 2017, a foreclosure suit had been filed by the bank and quote, all personal items within the home, including platinum records gracing the walls, a pool table and dozens of pairs of shoes were all confiscated and placed in storage. The mansion was eventually sold by the bank for 10.85 million in July, 2020. However, Birdman's lawyer has come out to explain the foreclosure, stating that it was the result of illegal loan terms set by the bank. So perhaps take Birdman's bankruptcy with a grain of salt. However, there's no ambiguity around how T-Pain went broke as he's now come on multiple podcasts to explain just how brutal his bankrupt I never really watched it was. T-Pain had built up a net worth of over $40 million at his peak in 2007 with all of his closest rap friends advising him that as long as he kept rapping the money would keep on coming in. Everybody before me that I had to look up to they were just like no, this is great. Once you start rapping, it's good, just money all the time. <laughs> Nothing bad's ever gonna happen. Your family's not gonna come after you. Just rap, and it's just girls and swimming pools after this. <laughs> for this reason, his spending began to get out of control. I bought my Bugatti. He bought it for two point one million dollars. Two point one million dollars. And then you, very shortly thereafter, you sold it for all they gave you was eight hundred thousand. Yeah, that's a beautiful. And dollars. then you, very that's shortly true. thereafter, you sold it for all they gave you. Eight hundred thousand. Yeah. So it was like renting a car for one point three million dollars. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> With the purchase of his Bugatti accompanying a four hundred thousand dollar chain and houses for his workmates. I got this house I want to get. I got this other house for my assistants and you know all my, uh, my runners and <laughs> my producers and stuff. So we bought a house after that and we just started going crazy with the money. I wasn't paying attention to it. Which was extra bad as T Pain never even checked in on how much money he had. I didn't want to know because I. Was was led to believe that this is just gonna it's only gonna grow because these rappers told me that i'm just gonna make money forever it's just gonna keep going up and up in the process t-pain began to create less music and within a few years his accountant was advising him that he was almost out of money my accountant was like dude you're like out of money and i was like no i'm not and while t-pain seemed confident that he had plenty of cash left reality set in for him after he'd have to borrow money just to buy food when you say you was broke you had like zero dollars bro i like had to borrow money to get my kids burger what the most you ever had in the bank at one time? 40 million. However, T-Pain was lucky to get away with a loss uh, of only 40 million, as the final person on our list makes this number look like loose change. 50 Cent. 50 didn't only release the 10th best-selling American hip-hop album of all time, but he also made over $100 million on a vitamin water investment. Plus that a boy's still making bank right now, so I don't know if he's broke, but he probably went broke now. Because that power, his whole... Uh, Movie 78 million dollars from a luxury yeah, underwear amazing. deal. In the late 2000s, 50 Cent made an estimate of 300 million dollars in only two years. So when he announced that he was filing for bankruptcy in mid 2015, with debts totaling over 32 yeah. million, the entire world was thinking the same thing. How did this happen? Well, after 50 Cent uploaded a sex tape with Rick Ross's girlfriend, 50 was successfully sued for 7 million, which accompanied another court order for 50 Cent to pay 17 million to a headphone manufacturer 
manufacturer after one of their collabs went sour. 50 Cent's clothing company G Unit Clothing then fell out of the spotlight, which accompanied the closing of his movie company G Unit Productions, as well as his boxing company SMS Promotions. Throughout the whole process, the global financial crisis had taken a toll on the value of 50 Cent's investments, and by 2015, he was earning a comparatively small $185,000 per month. You could certainly argue that this was enough for 50 to get back on his feet. Yeah. However, 108,000 of this monthly income was going toward an 18 bedroom mega mansion, that while the remaining 77,000 was going toward menial expenses such as his gardener, with bankruptcy documents revealing that 50 Cent still owed money to his stylist, fitness coach, and even his barber. Despite this, he began to troll on social media with posts such as this one, spelling out the word broke with $100 bills, <laughs> and within okay. two years, 50 Cent had paid back 23 million worth of his $32 million debt. 50 Cent eventually got back to zero, and according to Google, has built up a net worth of $40 million over the last five years. Yeah, bro, freaking balling with that freaking power series, bro. If you enjoyed that, subscribe, I wrote 2K, bro, we're gonna dummy, bro, we out.